Okay, so what's up everybody? This is uh, Travis the West Coast Flyer. Welcome back to the channel. This is the video I definitely did not want to have to make ever in my life, but apparently it does happen to all of us. Uh, I crashed my drone, as you can see in the title. Um, I use the term, don't crash your drone, because I always feel like that can't happen to some of us, but I was wrong. So before, without further ado, let's get into how this happened. How did it uh, get to the point of me crashing my drone? I'll first of all show you this. You can see uh, some scratches. Hope you can see them. Some scratches on the top here of the drone. Also, the propellers are pretty beat up. Um, not horrible, but they're pretty bad. Um, I think this one definitely needs to be replaced because it's probably uh, will affect the aerodynamic rotation of the propeller. Fortunately, I don't think anything really happened with my gimbal. Uh, this happened about a day ago, a day or two ago. And to be honest with you, I actually haven't flown the drone since because I was a little irritated, frustrated, uh, scared to put it back in the air. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna hold off on probably uh, reflying it anytime soon. So again, how did this happen? Well. I was flying in my backyard, which I don't have a aerial a picture of right now. Actually, I can't put a picture up. Let's see if this works out if I put this picture up here. So anyway, I was flying in my backyard. <clears throat> it's a pretty small area. It's not a very big area, uh, but I was by myself. It was big enough for me to launch this small thing. It's not huge, DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. And um, everything was fine. I actually was flying right above my house, not really going far. A neighbor is getting a pool put in. He was letting me get some pictures of his pool. I was like, cool, you know, he wanted me to uh, just give you some like progression work of what's going on in his backyard, which I thought would be cool too. And uh, everything was working out great. And actually it got to the point where the battery was low. So I brought it back in for landing, and, you know, just on my own because the battery was low. And as I get it literally in a landing position, the drone is hovered right about the top of my fence level, right in front of me. I watched the whole thing happen. So all of a sudden, it goes from landing to return to home. This is where things get very important. I believe what happened is I may have forgotten to set, to make sure the return to home was set. And that's why that's so important because apparently it felt the need that to still try to return to home, even though I had it right in front of me. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. Why didn't you just cancel the return to home? In the moment, I have done that before, but in the moment I'm thinking to myself, well, it's right here, I'm just gonna bring it down. But what actually happened is instead of it going down, it proceeded to start moving backwards toward the fence line. and. I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, hold on. Uh, it's gonna, you know, stop. No, it kept going. Right over the fence line, right on the other side of the fence line was my neighbor's fence. It clipped the fence, a little bit of his uh, stecco and literally just backed into the house and just went down. It just went down. It just, the, the back propellers, did, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate. It backed up like this. Back propellers are spinning. Once these hit the wall, choo, 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 it went down. It was still going. There was no automatic shutoff mode. I thought that was kind of interesting. You would think that at that point, it would have automatically shut off. It didn't, so I did what's called the emergency shutoff, which if you ever uh, read your manual, you know if you uh, press both sticks down in a diagonal uh, downward corner inward, it automatically cuts off your drone no matter what you're doing. So if you're flying it in midair, you don't wanna do that because it will drop your drone from wherever it's at and it will crash. Uh, mine was already at this point crashed, but was still trying to spin. So definitely I needed to do a shut off. Fortunately, there was no one around, it was just me, but it was devastating. But it does go to show how important it is to always be prepared to uh, just take action over your drone. Like in this particular case, the only thing I think I could have did differently is if I looked at the screen and saw the return to home, uh, maybe cancel that 
uh, it, was so, it was so weird, I didn't think I needed to because again, it was flying right in front of my face. So I'm like, okay, just bring it down. And I tried to bring it down. And for some reason, instead of, I, it actually took over. Like I tried to go forward and it come down so it land and it just kept going backwards. And you know, it was not a whole lot I could do about it. But anyway, that's my just crash my drone story. Uh, definitely will have to take it out into a pretty open area to make sure it's still functional. I'm probably going to go ahead and I have extra propellers, so I'll definitely be replacing this front left propeller on my drone because, um, yeah, that's just not, it's not looking good. There's actually a little cut there that I think will affect the, the spin of the propeller. So be careful with your drone, uh, fly safely. Hopefully I don't have to come back with another video like this. I'm happy it wasn't a whole lot of damage. As you can see again, just a little scratch here on the top. Scratched up propeller, uh, no broken leg. From what I can see, I, I'm pretty sure it'll still fly. Uh, I don't see why not. So anyway, uh, if you like the video, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Until next time, we're out.